You're watching a Devil TV with the Asus EPC 1015B RAM upgrade. My name is Balash Gal, and I will help you uh, upgrade your hard drive. Also, maybe you want a um, SSD or bigger drive. Then you will need to take out these many screws. So be aware. Otherwise, for the RAM, it's pretty easy. You only have to take out one screw and this little fella here, and you will be having right away access to your RAM which you can upgrade up to 4 GB, so up to 4 GB but you have to upgrade your Windows 7 to home premium 64-bit uh, also if you want to use 4 GB of RAM with this ACC PC with um, the new AMD Fusion C50 processor so for upgrading in RAM as I already said pretty easy just take off this rubber thingy here oops rubber and take out the one screw underneath it you can take then off this plastic and you don't need a screwdriver after that anymore you just have to shift these uh, metal arms here to the side take out this RAM stick and you have one gigabyte of RAM in your hand this is DDR3 sodium so make sure to get DDR3 and sodium again when you buy Bigger ones, so it means it's small. Or a standard RAM is big for desktop PCs. So putting it in again, the same way. You can put it only in one way. As you can see, this, these are different lengths. And then you just have to push it in hard enough into the computer. So all the way in, there's, so there's no uh, golden legs visible anymore. Push it down. See, I did it wrong. Didn't push it in enough. And yeah, you can hear it click when you're done with that. Then you have to, if you want to upgrade your hard drive also, um, take out four screws right here, one, two, three, four, for the keyboard. After that, flip the notebook over, don't put in the battery in again. Then you have it looking like this. It's still the same from the inside, I know. Um, you can't just lift off the keyboard like that. You need a plastic card or something to help you with. Going in here and on the other side, um, making it a little bit easier to lift it up then you after taking the keyboard off you have still a lot more work to do because we only took out four screws till now now you have to take out 11 i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yes and then you will still can't take it off as easy as you can see it here you have to take your plastic card again and start this time from the front go in here go around the case really uh, slowly and uh, be aware so no nothing no um, plastic legs break because after that when you put it back together it will be a little bit um, floppy so you have to you if you don't want to use glue putting it back together you should be aware to um, watch out for not being too aggressive and then you have it already from the inside as you can see here not too much the hard drive is basically the biggest thing and if i wouldn't hold it down here it would just do this so taking out your hard drive is not too hard you only have to lift these two plastic things here up on the side again take out the the cables here the same thing actually with the um, cables which are plugged into the computer for the keyboard and touchpad just take them out after that you have your hard drive right underneath it here and you have to take out one two three more screws so it's not um, <coughs> fixed inside the case anymore chassis anymore and then you just have to pick it up like this and pull and then you have a 250 gigabyte hard drive in your hand um yeah putting back in an ssd shouldn't be hard for you after this so this was it actually from the hard drive upgrade of the asus epc 1015b putting it back together just follow the same steps backwards thank you much for watching and TV. my name is Balash Gal with the asus epc 1015b uh, other models from the new asus series should act the same till next time tune in again my name was Balash Gal.